Hey Bola Buddies, this one's coming from my light box. The reason is because... Hey Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I'm getting ready to prep for my next whatnot, and I just had to do this unboxing or unbagging real quick. I ran out of battery at the Goodwill bins, and they were bringing out some new bins, and I couldn't leave. So I didn't find too much, so I grabbed this Paw Patrol bag and just shoved everything in it and checked out real quick and was on my way. I didn't spend very much money, but I think I'm going to make some money on this stuff, so I'm super excited. Let's check out and see what I got. I found this incredible piece right here. It's Mary Inglebright. It says, books fall open, you fall in, and it was like a poster. And it says, Mary drew this piece of art for display in the St. Louis Public Library. So very, very cool piece in my opinion. I watched a video by um, Got Junk in Our Trunk where she talks about posters from libraries. This one's laminated. Hers were actual posters, but this is also Mary Inglebright. So I'm hoping this is going to be something good, but it may be mass produced. I have no idea at this point. So I'm going to look it up after the video and get it listed. I don't have a whole lot in this bag, but I did find a few things. I was only in there a few minutes. Like I said, this was, I went back in and just grabbed a few things. I did see this sitting there. Now, this is not super old. Um, let's see, I don't, I thought I saw one that was dated. It's a size medium, 10 to 12. Uh, Boy Scouts, really old Boy Scouts can do fantastic. This is Girl Scouts, uh, 2003, three, three, I thought I saw a four, 2004. So yeah, I mean, there's some cute patches on here. I'm just going to put it up for auction and see if I can get any bites on it. Um, I mean, it doesn't, it probably weighs less than a pound. My Goodwill bins is $1.89 a pound. So we're just going to reach our hand in and see what we pull out next. We have a Barbie. And the reason I grabbed this Barbie is I think I have sold her before. I think she's the Halloween Barbie. Um, I, I don't know. I might lot her with something else. But she has all of her. She's got her hat, her necklace, her boots. So her hair is a little messy, but not too bad. I found an ornament. And it says, Our First Christmas Together. And it is two little fox foxes foxies fox i don't know what you call them i don't know what the plural of fox is foxes and actually this was laying in the bin and then i found the box so it's dated 1990 so somebody who started dating or got married or had their first christmas together in 1990 may want this ornament they could lose it or they could just want it i'll tell you what i spent in a minute all right, we've got this one, and I'm trying to think what these are from. Um, I think they're from a Disney movie. However, these are not marked at all. So I, unless that's a marking, I think that's just supposed to be like a rip in his shirt, but I can't find anything on them. Nothing, nothing. So I'm gonna use Google Lens um, to see if I can figure out who they are, but they may just be something generic there. I did grab her. She is a, uh, is she Monster High? I think she's Monster High. I've done pretty well with Monster High. Um, a lot of times I will um, lot them, but they do pretty good on Mercari. So I'll do them as singles over there. I had a big lot on Mercari and everybody kept asking me to split them up. So I did and I sold a lot of them individually. So even if they have messy hair, they still will sell. And I got this. And she still smells a little bit. Um, but I did look up comps. They weren't like anything crazy good. But here's the thing. She still has this thing in her hair. She's got these poofy things around her feet another bow here, a bow here. So she's got some accessories with her. I thought it was stained, but when I looked on eBay at comps, the other ones were like this also. Does need a good wipe down. 
It's from 2007 Playmates Toys, and I believe it's from Strawberry Shortcake. So, pretty cute little pony right there. I think I can do okay with that. I did grab this spoon. I have no idea why. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. Uh, let's see what it says on the back. It says Stainless Japan. So, it's a little vintage spoon, baby spoon, I would say. Uh, I got this Bratz doll. Anytime I see Bratz, I pick up Bratz. I don't know if her lipstick has come off or if it's supposed to look like her lips are outlined with a lip gloss. Her hand is chewed up, so that's no good. But that's okay because people will buy these for replacement parts. And of course she has no legs, but I have sold these before and they do still sell. She is from 2001. So her head and hair, I don't know if she's had a haircut or not. She looks, I mean, her makeup looks pretty good. So I may, you know, I could just sell her head or her arm, or maybe I'll just sell her as is. These were kind of fun. Um, they're SpongeBob little shooter things. So this goes down in here and you push um, a button on the back and they shoot. See, they shoot off. So got to look those up. <laughs> Here's another thing that I picked up because of got junk in our trunk. She recently sold, um, yuck. Oh, it's probably doll hair. Um, whistles and they were Oscar Mayer Wiener uh, advertising whistles. And I thought, well, you know, I mean, I'm just going to pick up these whistles because they don't weigh anything. I'm pretty sure they're vintage. They say night out America's night out against crime national night out. So I got, I think that might be it. I just grabbed all of them that I saw. So those, um, I don't know if I'll sell them individually and a lot. I'm going to see if I can find any comps at all, but they don't weigh much. Hey, it's Rhonda with Got Junk in Our Trunk, and this is your bolo for today. My daughter Samantha and I went on a girl's trip to Mountain View, Arkansas in early fall. And as we were going through, we were stopping at some of the thrift stores on the way little country ones, mom and pop type of things. Once we got to Mountain View, we actually found two yard sales on that Saturday. So one of them that we went to was a rural one, and she had a little pile of these type of items. And I asked her how much she wanted, and she said free. Well, there's nothing like a free Oscar Mayer wiener whistle. You will see these when the mobile comes through, the Oscar Mayer mobile, I think is what they call it. It comes through and they do demos and different things like that until about the history of Oscar Mayer Company. And they give these little whistles out. You blow in the end here and of course it's a whistle. It's actually a whistle. Kids used to love to get things like this. There are all different ones. This one's one that's on top of what it looks like a skateboard, but this is actually what the wiener whistle looks, or the wiener mobile looks like the whistle, or the whistle looks like it. They look like each other. I got eight of these free. Now, I have to look at my notes to remember how I sold these. I listed the first one for $11.99. I always add shipping on everything. I listed these on eBay, cross-listed it to a couple of different platforms, including Etsy, because these were actually vintage ones. She housed the Wiener Mobile in her yard, and she had some of these left over, and this was from like 25, 30 years ago or something like that, she said. I don't know, but I do know that these are vintage. I sold the first one for $11.99. I sold the second one and the third one for $11.99, and I decided to raise the price. I raised it to $15.99 and ended up selling two of those. All of these at that time had sold on Etsy, so I pulled them off of eBay. Nobody was doing anything over there, and I decided to just leave them on Etsy because I knew that I could get a little bit more for them on Etsy because it was a vintage platform. I raised it to $18.99, sold one. I raised it to $19.99 and sold one. This is the last one that's going out. I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping. That's your bolo for today. Look for the wiener whistle. I'm always grabbing Legos. If it says Lego, I grab it. I don't care if it doesn't have, I, I, don't, I don't know what this goes to, I have no clue, but I'm gonna grab it if it's a Lego. So I got some Legos. Um, this, I knew right away what it was. I have sold these before. This is a Paw Patrol replacement seat for the big, um, oh, what's it called? A semi-truck. So I can sell that as a replacement part for sure. 
I found this little guy. Um, he's pretty cool. Some of these color change. I don't think this is a color changer, but I've never seen this one with the little thing on the side and it's still intact. Um, it is Mattel Disney Pixar. I was hoping to see a date, but I don't see a date. So I will use Google Lens to figure out which car this is. I just love the color of it. And I just, I, I don't know, I like that one. All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, Duplos, I picked up a bunch of Duplos when I was in there earlier. I'm gonna lock those up. Here is another car. So depending on what these comp out at to get um, separately, and if they don't comp out well, I may put those two together. Here is more Lego. Don't know, don't care. It's a Lego. <laughs> um, I will just throw it in a, a tote. And a lot of times, like, I'll need replacement parts. I don't know what this hand goes to. It goes to something. Um, let's see. Here's another part of a Lego body. This little guy right here is... I don't know, but they, somebody was trying to charge a dollar for it. I'll be able to take that off and be able to read maybe who it is, but he, I can't remember what, um, Cyclops, but this goes to a game and I have some listed. I got them from Donatella Bottolino's, uh, YouTube auction and I've sold some of them. And then I have a big lot of them listed, but I can't think off the top of my head right now what they're called. If you guys are looking for inventory, check out Donatella Bottolino and Auctions For You, their YouTube channel. I will have it linked in the description. I have no idea what this is. I thought maybe it was like a transformer thing, but it feels really cheap and there's no markings. So this may be a womp womp. We'll see. I got a Lego man, he's cool. Nice, nice, I can look him up. Um, a body. I think this might be Treasure X, don't quote me on that. Uh, is this Ryan's place maybe? Not sure, have to use Google Lens. Oh, I wonder if he goes, does he go with these guys? He might, he might, cause he feels the same and he's not marked. I'm glad I grabbed that. Oh, here's another cars. So we'll probably put Rusty with these three. And I know it's Rusty's, Rusty's because it says it. Here's a little Lego chair. A couple more Lego Duplos. I think I got some more Duplos in here. Oh, another whistle. Um, Duplo, Duplo, some miscellaneous. I have no idea what that is. No clue. Um, I think they might be parts to this guy right here, this treasure X right here. These might be parts from that. Is this guy Lego? I'll have to, yep, I think he says Lego in the top of his head. So who has the lightning bolt on him? He's probably a Marvel. Um, here's more of those things. These were actually inside the playset, so I know that they go together. And this, this was with it too, I think. So Treasure X, but I think this one is too. Let's see what else I got. Another one of those, some more miscellaneous Legos. Ooh, does this go on that guy? Does this go on him? Ooh, cool. And maybe this goes, no, that's not gonna fit on him, but it's a, a Lego topper. That crab might go with that. I think I pulled it out of that play set. Yeah, because here's another one. That's Lego and Lego and Lego and then a magnet. I collect all magnets and I hoard them. And one day I will take the time to piece them out and actually uh, get that stuff listed. So uh, there's different styles and different types of these. I would pick up any of them I see. But at the bins, you know, a lot of times you might get like one or five or 10 and then, you know, you just hang on to them and then you can make small lots of them like I do with the Duplo Legos. I'll hold on to them until I have a big lot and then I will list them. So this is my mini haul from the Goodwill bins. Sorry, I don't have footage again. I had uh, my camera went out on me. So I think I did pretty good and I spent a whopping total of $7.49 on all these goodies. So, and then don't forget, we've got um, the brownie top and 
the Mary Englebright poster thing. So that is my haul for $7.49. So I accidentally just deleted my ending, which told how much I spent. I think it was like $7 or $5. It was not very much. It's $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill Benz. So next to nothing in these items. Such a great haul, especially that little minifigure Lego. Oh my goodness. Wow. And shout out to Rhonda, got junk in our trunk. You guys, make sure you go and show her some love with a sub. I will link her down below. She is fantastic. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.